Good morning, Sapophia. Our little town in the state of Illinois is thriving in this wonderful fall weather we've been having so far. Today, you can expect some sun and clouds, but there are no need for an umbrella. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize, but it seems that I will have to pause our morning broadcast for our mayor that has an emergency announcement to make. Mayor Walter, I hand the microphone to you. Thank you. <clears throat> As uh, many of you might know, Sepovia has in the past had some rough nights. Well, last night it happened again. Five young citizens have passed away in various locations. The following teenagers were murdered yesterday, October 2nd, and in order of mortem, the victims' names are Nate Richmond, Rita Marie Shiler, Lydia Alexandra Pennyborn, Cole King Sanderson, and Danny Troy Cox. Again, please stay safe and don't take any unnecessary risks. Thank you for your attention and your cooperation. Where'd you get this stuff? I know some people. This shit is great, man. Hey, don't take all of it. We're supposed to split it evenly. Hey, ladies. Are you really just sitting there dealing drugs after what happened? No, we're splitting Halloween candy. What do you think? <sighs> Nate, I can't believe you fucking punched Lydia. Not in middle school. You can't just act like a 10 year old either. Hey, she started it. She told you all for dealing drugs. If you talk any louder, I think Canada might be able to hear you. You have to apologize. He did it in self-defense. Yeah, she was threatening to tell the cops and our parents. And you don't think that was the right thing to do? It's not like drugs are good tonight. I mean, you haven't tried it. It's actually pretty fucking good. Never in a million years. You're ruining your life and also hurting innocent people who happen to be your friends. You're being too, uh, too dramatic. It's not like it's dangerous. What about Lydia? Tell that to our bloody ones. Hey guys, I once broke my arm, like the entire bone right here, it just like fell off, like, and, and look at me, I'm perfect! Shut up, Danny, no one cares about your arm or your perfectness. Cole, you have nothing to say in this. Uh. Look, why can't you just apologize to me? Okay, how about this? We'll consider it if you, ever, if you never talk shit about us or we choose to do ever again, okay? I don't know, but you, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Oh. Fine, whatever. Uh, just apologize, okay? Will do, boss. You sad, pathetic boys. Ow! What was that for? That was definitely not self-defense. Cole, what happened to you? I don't know, I just froze. You really believe that? Yeah, I heard it on the radio like a few days ago. Hey girls! What do you guys want? Hey, um, Lydia, I just want to um, apologize for punching you in the face. What a great apology, Nate. Sorry. It's okay. So, Elaine, um, have you been getting any more of those dreams? You know, the, the freaky ones? But, yeah, but it's a gun stronger right now. Much stronger, actually. You know, more visual. More real. It's almost like I'm there. Anything you should know? Yeah, well, as you all know, I've got in those dreams about 
those people being kidnapped and killed and then it actually happens. First Miranda was and my mom and the last year some teenagers. And now? Um I've seen us I've seen us getting I've seen us getting killed. Killed? Like like knife to chest dead killed. Shit! Fuck fuck dude! Yeah, I'm sorry, I wanted to tell you earlier, but well, it's not something you just casually drop on a Tuesday morning. Did you notice anything familiar about the killer? Well... I think I know a way. We have to stick together, I know that. And we have to be the ones to find the killer. Sounds good. Truth be told, um, I, I do know more. I'll tell you later. Why don't we just call the police? The police haven't done anything to this case for at least 10 years now. And if we call them, nothing will change. But wh where do we start? Well, I think I know a place. Do I have to be in the back? Well, they're certainly not changing it now. Wait, uh, are we just tied up so that no one else can tie us up? Oh, you are unbelievably stupid. He's not stupid, he's just too high. So always high then. I am offended. Okay, you know what, Cole? We are in the forest because that's what Elaine saw in her dreams. And we are tied up so that we don't get separated. Is that good for you? But if the dreams are unstoppable, how do we even stop the killings before they happen? Wait, you're not even planning on killing it now? Whoa, plot twist. Why? You all know as well as I do that I can't actually stop this from happening. Wait, do, do you guys see that? I want to cry. I'm afraid. I've never seen anyone die before. I saw my grandma a few years ago on her deathbed, but it was in nothing like this. I'm sorry, but can you take this seriously? Are you like emotionless or something? I have emotions. Sure you do. Oh fuck. What about Anna? Nate and Anna were a couple, weren't they? I think so. Yeah. There is actually something that I've been wanting to talk to you about for a while now. You know, the night, the video store. Oh. Hmm. Have you ever thought about opening up about it? There is nothing to open up about. So, all of that meant nothing to you? Well... Well, I... what? Just kiss the gay guy and then just forget about it. I really do care for you. It doesn't really seem like it.
Lane, what are we gonna do? Nate just died, and me and the others have talked, and we just still don't know anything about the killer. Why he's killing, how he's killing. <laughs> we don't even know who the, kill the killer is. I know who the killer is. You do? Yeah. I I've always known. It's was Project said. Who is it? What? I, I don't know exactly what person it is, but I know it's someone in our group. Did you see it in your dreams? Yeah, but something odd about this killer. What is it? Well, let's just say they have non-human abilities. What do you mean? Are they like a psychic? Well, this person, whoever it is, has the ability to go into our minds and mess with our perception of reality. Like with Nate? Yeah, I mean, you saw him. He was obviously seeing someone or something. We weren't. It's getting hard for us to know what we can trust when we don't know what's real and what it's making up. What just So, I told you guys that I know more than I would say, but I think it's fitting to tell more now. I already told Maxine this, but I think everyone deserves to know this. Oh, yeah, we do! Shut up, you have way too much alcohol. We're depressed and miserable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but can you say that for after we say the whole Sopotha? Yeah, just listen to Elaine. It's important, <sighs> trust me. So, as I was saying, I, well, the killer is one of us. And we also need to be super cautious because this person, whoever it is, has the ability to go into our minds and mess with our perception of everything. No! make any sense. I don't understand anything. That's new. Well, I mean, a killer needs to have a motive. A killer needs to have a hatred towards someone who had hatred towards Nate and Rita. What do you mean by that, Maxine? I mean that I don't want to be left alone with you. What? Do so you think that I'm the killer? Oh, come on. Isn't it obvious? We all know that Nate made fun of you for years. And you were always so scared that Rita would t tell the cops about your drugs. I'm just saying, if me and Lydia get killed next, we'll know who it is. What about you, huh? You always had a hate run towards Nate. And you were so mad about the whole punching Lydia in the face thing. What if you just wanted revenge for it? Okay, first of all, we all had hate run towards Nate. And second of all, that punching thing was not that big of a deal to kill over. And it was for just blindly accusing people, why not just accuse Danny? Hey, don't drag me into this, I love Nate. What about the time you ratted you out for smoking weed at school, huh? That was months ago, forgive and forget, right? Yeah, right. You forgive and you forget. Guys, it's no help if we all turn against each other now. That is probably what the killer wants, for us to be alone. Mm -hmm.
If we always stick together, how will we ever be able to find the killer? Yeah. Okay, what about this? We separate one person from the group, and if nothing happens, we assume they are the killer. But how will the Cyphers be alone? I vote Maxime! Fuck you, Cole. I would rather not, actually. Sorry. Guess you have to be alone for a while. Oh my god, you can't be serious! Screw you guys! I'm gonna get killed out here alone! Sorry! I'm sorry, they say. Are you really making me do this? But I don't want to be a bad person. You're ruining my life. I'm ruining my life. <laughs> I can't believe the police haven't done anything about this yet. I know, right? It's insane, bro. It's gonna be a ghost town. Can we talk? Ghost town? Yeah. Seriously. Why is there a flash in the back? It's not funny. It's not funny. What is it? Okay, so all the people I first seen to die have all died except for two people. I don't want to say exactly who's going to die, but the point is, even though the prophecy is fulfilled yet, I think we should now go on the killer fast. So you trust me? Yeah, I trust you with my own and everybody else's life. I don't think you're the killer. So I die then. Thanks for telling me. What did you talk about? You weren't conspiring, were you? I don't think we can trust Elaine. Why? Because she can see into the future and shit? Because she told me. Lydia, yeah, what the fuck? You can't turn against me now. I'm not a traitor and certainly not a killer. I mean, it makes sense. You've known everything that was going to happen to us. And you've been keeping important information from us this whole time. It seems like you don't even want us to find this killer before we're all dead. Oh, okay. So it just makes sense to... All of you that I killed my own mother when I was seven, okay. I mean, once a psychopath, always a psychopath, I guess. What? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? So this killing started him when I was three. I couldn't even stand looking at my own blood when I was that young. Oh, shut the act, Elaine. It's obvious at this point. Do you see how defensive she got? Fred, right? Yeah, it was like when someone's being accused of killing someone in those horror movies we watched. Yeah, no, there is something off about the girl. I know it. She's not the killer. What? How do you know that? Because I know who the killer is. What? Who? What? No. What? How? Because I'm the killer, Cole. No, no, you're not. I'm the killer. No, no, you're not. Stop joking, this isn't funny. You always thought it was a joke. Everyone did. This isn't funny, Danny. Could you stop that? You're kind of killing the mood, Cole. God, I can smell the weed off you. You're high. Maybe, probably. <laughs> You're such a shitty person, Danny. Yeah, yeah.
I have an announcement to make. In a few minutes, everyone in this circle will be dead. And it's not because I have Elaine's weird ability that I know this. It's because I myself have made sure that none of you survive. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right. Lady and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, while you were too busy staring at Rita's soul leaving her body, I was able to poison Lydia's drink. Of course, perfectly timing it for this moment. And you. You will be stabbed by yourself. you didn't see this coming i saw that i survived yeah it's because i can't seem to get a real grip on your mind but since you didn't give me a knife i guess i had to steal yours Maxine, remember what he has done. There's no excuse for that. I know it's hard, but just do it. Everyone. Good morning, Sapophia. Our little town in the state of Illinois is thriving in this wonderful fall weather we've been having so far. Today, you can expect some sun and clouds, but there are no need for an umbrella. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize, but it seems that I will have to pause our morning broadcast for our mayor that has an emergency announcement to make. Mayor Walter, I hand the microphone to you. 